So today we are gonna talk about Night Flight Orchestra's Amber Galactic. That's the only album we know. So if those who don't know, Night Flight Orchestra, the singer is Beyond Speed Street. Is middle name Speed? No, it's a nickname. Hmm. Who is the singer for Soul World, which we've already spoken of. Yeah! So when he was announcing a solo project or a separate project, you know, you're thinking, oh, what's he gonna do? Probably another death metal thing. Night Flight Orchestra is not death metal whatsoever. No! To me, it sounds like an incredibly technical ABBA. Yeah, I guess that's one way you can put it. And I, I remember when you first let me hear this album, this was at a time when I was yet to, I had yet to dip my toe into the heavy metal world. And I was like, fuck, I really like this. It's beautiful, um, beautiful melodies. Um, very classic, like, you know, that 70s style kind of um, songwriting. but Retro sounding, but... Such high level of musicianship. Not that ABBA is not a technical band, but this is like... It's heavier. This it's, is next level. It's rock. And he brings that voice of his. That man got a really beautiful voice. No, but you know, he doesn't even do it that, you know, like... Grindy, like so good. He's got really, yeah. Midnight flyer. Yeah, he, he, he he's, got, yeah. That man got crazy range, brother. I tell wow. You. That's some, yeah, really. It got that even sort of like artistic, you know, foreign. I thought you said it was French, but when I really, really listened to it, I thought there's like little like Russian voice layovers. Um, Pretty sure it's French. Are you sure? I don't know. This sounds like French to me, brother. We'll listen again, but it's got that sort of almost high art, a bit reminiscent of some um, uh, Pink Floydy elements. Nervous cinema. She doesn't say nervous cinema, right? No, no. You're imagining things. It's French. You're, you're but, a racist. And such beautiful sing along feel good, you know. Jenny, oh. why are you so fucking fast? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> why are you. Jenny, what is taking so long? Actually, I sang the other one so much that I don't remember the original lyrics. I just can't believe it's true. Really, really, it's so different from slow work. Like, I think if you were a fan of slow work, you might not really like this. But it's so different. But at the same time, like, it's so it's one of them. You know, I always talk a lot of shit about like, oh, there's nothing interesting that's new. And Night Flight's, uh, well, new ish, it's been a few years. Was it 2017? Now. Well, that album, but it's like yeah. the third album already. Oh, bro, that's crazy. You know, but then again, it's a new band from a band that's, you know, older as well. But it's still good to, I mean, same, in the same vein of like Lennon Claypool, it's still <laughs> something new, you know? Like these artists have still found different ways to express themselves. And um, I, <clears throat> I personally look, I, I love all the really heavy stuff. I love, uh, you know, the real cult, sort of, you know, bit retro, more flamboyant stuff too. You know, glam in, in the 70s and the 60s. And I, I thought Amber Galactic was a great album. I think about the opening. Oh yeah, the keyboards really come to the forefront in this one. Yeah, I mean, fuck, what else can you say about it? Like... We don't really know the words, yeah. but that's the thing, I'll the melody it. sticks with you, yeah. Real anthems, you know, real sing along, singability, yeah, like, it's I mean. Such good melody, like, really, really. Uh, best way I can describe it is that feel good 60s, 70s kind of. You know, it's rock and roll. Writing. It's sure. yeah, it's it's rock and roll because of his voice. The music has more of that almost like hippie esque kind of feel to it. Well, I guess like modern. You know what? It's kind of like a hard rock fish, or like modern retro. You know, hard rock fish. You know, fish like P H I S H. What the hell's fish? Oh, sorry. They all like Grateful Dead. You know, like a little bit funky. Like the real trippy LSD. Like if you like, you know, take acid and go to a festival, you know, fish. Uh, Grateful Dead. I don't really like Grateful Dead, but. But yeah, but like, you know, a bit hard rock. But that. great, 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 great yeah. album. Um, what would you rate it? Well, phew, I mean, it's such good listening. It's one of those where you can casually listen to it. You sing along even when you don't really know the words. Great road trip album. But at the same time, when you stop to pay attention, you're blown away by the technical ability and the musicianship of the players. Mm. You know, that, the, that's, yeah, that's something I think. Real top-notch writing. 
as a vocalist, my god, what a fucking masterclass in vocals. Oh, he's got range. Like, if you listen to Soul Work and then you listen to this, it's really hard to believe it's the same guy. But my god, he's, he's yeah, it's a really beautiful voice. It's one of the best vocals. I mean, it, to me, like the vocals on Night Flight Orchestra, like that's mm. almost comparable to the shit Glenn Hughes pulls off. Mm. Yeah, I'd say a similar vein, yeah. Like, and, and you really don't expect that from like a black metal vocalist, you know? It's not a but black metal vocalist. Death metal? I'd say Swedish, Swedish. Or Scandin you know, melodic death metal. Yeah, okay, so there you go. Sorry, I'm still learning my terms, all right? You know, I need to be educated. Okay, but in out of five stars, um, just, I have to take into consideration when this was released as well. Um, I give it a very, very high points for originality. Um, it's not something I was expecting and I don't really hear anything else I can compare it to. So I'm gonna give it a solid 4.75. Wow. I, uh, look, maybe subjectively with all the shit I've been listening to now, but I'll give it a four. All right. Yeah. So that's uh, Amber Galactic. <laughs>